What is scarlet fever? Scarlet fever is an infectious disease which has caused immense suffering all over the world especially among children in the ages of 5 to 15 years. The disease rarely affects adults. In addition, scarlet fever mainly affects people who have strep throat and is caused by strep microorganisms which are suspected to make toxins which cause a bright red bumpy rash. Scarlet fever is indicated by a splendid red rash on the body, which goes with a high fever and sore throat. The rash manifests itself throughout the body of the victim and hence the name scarlet fever. Scarlet fever is normally treated by antibiotics which have reduced its severity and helped to speed up recuperation and lessen the seriousness of the indications. Symptoms of scarlet a rash is the most widely recognized indication of scarlet fever in adults and children. It generally starts as a red smudged rash and turns out to be fine and unpleasant like sandpaper. The rash can start up to a few days before someone feels sick or gets the symptoms and or up to seven days after. Scarlet fever manifests itself starting from the neck and spreads to other parts of the body including the face leaving a clear area around the mouth. From there it spreads to the chest the back and other parts of the body where it forms red streaks. After the rash has died down, around 7 days, the skin on the tips of the fingers and toes and in the crotch may strip. This can keep going for several weeks. Causes Scarlet fever can be traced to strep throat which is suspected to produce toxins which cause the bright red bump. In scientific terms, the microorganisms are referred to as a streptococcus, or streptococcus pathogens microbes, which are microorganisms that can live in your mouth and nasal entries. This makes it easy to spread within the environment. The disease manifests itself in two to five days after infection when the signs start to show. Someone might be infected through ingesting air which is contaminated with individual spit, sniffle or hack. This means that transmission can also be through the air we breathe. Nevertheless, the main mode of transmission is through direct contact with an infected person and being in crowded areas and including sharing utensils with an infected person. Now and again, Group A strep diseases have been spread through pollution of the surrounding environment. Group A strep can cause a skin contamination in a few people. These skin diseases, known as cellulitis, can spread the microbes to other people. However, contacting the rash of red fever won't spread the microscopic organisms since the rash is a consequence of the poison, not the microbes. Risk factor for scarlet fever Scarlet fever predominantly affects kids between the ages of 5 and 15 years. You will get scarlet fever by being either in the same room or having bodily contact with those who are infected. Complications associated with scarlet fever Scarlet fever has various complications though it is expected that the symptoms are expected to clear within 10 days to 2 weeks, especially with the treatment of antibiotics. These complications include inflexible temperature, pneumonia, ear and throat infections among others. This can be avoided if your child is promptly treated by the relevant antibiotics. Diagnosing scarlet fever the children's doctor will carry out an initial a physical test to check for indications of scarlet fever. During the test, the specialist will especially check the state of the child's tongue, throat, and tonsils. They'll likewise search for broadened lymph hubs and analyze the appearance and surface of the rash. If the doctor presumes your youngster has red fever, they'll likely conduct a procedure to gather parts of child's cells from the throat to be used to determine the presence of the infection. This will be taken to a laboratory where tests will be conducted to determine the presence of Group A streptococcus. In addition there is a fast throat swab procedure which can be performed at the workplace as you wait. This procedure is rapid and is able to identify Group A strep infection at the go. Treatment for Scarlet Fever Scarlet fever is treated with antimicrobial. Antitoxins eliminate microorganisms and help the body's resistant framework ward off the microbes causing the contamination. Plan to finish the recommended dosage of treatment to prevent further recurrence and damage to the body especially for your little one. It is also advisable to take over-the-counter medicine, which includes acetaminophen to reduce pain and fever. 
The doctor will determine if the child has the capacity to also use ibuprofen to reduce the symptoms affecting him or her. However, adults are free to use the other medications that is acetaminophen or ibuprofen. Aspirin should never be used as a remedy regardless of age while treating scarlet fever as it is associated with building up rise disorder especially with fever. Other drugs may likewise be recommended to help reduce the agony of a sore throat. Other cures can incorporate eating ice pops, frozen yogurt, or warm soup. Swishing with salt water and utilizing a cool air humidifier, can diminish the seriousness and agony of a painful throat. It's additionally critical that your kid drinks a lot of water to keep away from drying out. It is advisable that a child who has suffered from scarlet fever is allowed back to school after a period of 24 hours of treatment and has no fever. Many vaccines for scarlet fever are in the pipeline, however, none has been released for use. Prevention is better than cure. We all know that prevention is better than cure. This ensures that people won't suffer from this ailment and therefore does not interrupt their enjoyment of life. Some of the prevention strategies include maintaining good hygiene among others. Managing symptoms. Apart from treatment with antibiotics, scarlet fever symptoms can be managed by Take broth-based soup or warm teas to assist calm your throat. Attempt liquid diets or soft foods to ease pain while eating. Swallow ibuprofen or OTC acetaminophen Tylenol for throat pain. In order to relieve itching try medication or simply use OTC and itch cream. Dehydrated throat irritates so bad therefore keep your throat moistened by taking sips of water. Sucking on throat lozenges can help. Mayo Clinic suggests that children from 4 years can be given lozenges to suck to help soothe sore throat since it is safe for them too. Keep off air polluted environments because it causes irritation. Never smoke. Gargle salt water to ease throat pain. Make the air around humid to prevent throat irritation from dry air. Get a humidifier today on Amazon.com.